Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. My name is Rahul Kumar Tiwari and today as part of this video KB we would be looking at custom stored procedure and how to add it in MDM. We will start with the introduction and then we will see the steps to add the custom stored procedure and then we will see the demo. So what is custom stored procedure? So in MDM if we want to do some custom operations we have two spaces to do it. We can either manage it by user exit or by custom stored procedure. So user exit is something which is uh, Java based uh, where, it, where we have multiple spaces to plug in our custom logic like post landing, post stage, post load, pre-merge and all uh, things like that. But custom stored procedure is more like a DB oriented thing where we can write our DB uh, PL SQL lines, PL SQL codes and then we can create a procedure and then we can integrate with an MDM. So I take an example suppose uh, so that I want to update my landing records by uh, with a with values for a column by reference to by referring to my XRF table so if if I go through a DB procedure it will be quite easy because I only need to do certain joins on XRF and landing table pull the data and populate in landing table so for that what I can do is I can create a custom procedure and I can integrate in my it in my MDM so that once my landing jobs are complete I can run this job and which then uh, can populate my data. So let's look at the steps to add the custom storage procedure. So the, it's very easy. Uh, so first and foremost is we need to create the procedure in MDM. Now once the procedure is created in a database end, we have to come and we have to uh, let the MDM know that there's a procedure and we, we can do that by using an API known as register custom table object. So from, we can run this API and we have to pass two important parameters. One is row ID table, uh, which is nothing but the for, for the BO for which we want to register this custom procedure. We will pick the row ID table from C repos table for that BO and we will put it in the row ID table call uh, tag. And then the function type code will always be A. There are a couple of other tags, which is nothing but the name and description, which we will see in the actual request. So the name and description, whatever we will give, uh, that will be displayed in our MDM end. So once we register this, we will see that there are two entries in, there are there are entries in CREPOS table object and CREPOS table object V. And once the entry, when the once the registration is done, we can see the custom stored procedure displayed under user object registry repository and once this is and uh, the when half just after the registration what we can do is we, we will get this procedure as an additional job option and in the batch viewer under the tab custom and then we can run it at our own wish uh, in a batch viewer or a batch group so let's quickly go through the demo of this video so this is my MDA hub and this is the area the user object registry where you know when we can go and add the user exit but uh, here we are looking at custom stored procedure so if you see you know when I acquire the log uh, I do not get an option to add it from here but when user exit we get an option to add the user exit from here that is because we only register the stored procedures in MDM we do not come and explicitly add it from here so here I can see a custom stored procedure because I've already created one and added it so let's let's go and you know just register so we will use the same custom procedure so this is my custom procedure which I have created so what I'll do is I'll use the same custom procedure but I'll register it for another table so right now this custom proce procedure has already been registered for a table known as location and that's why we when I run the CREPOS table object I can see a single entry over here and this is the row ID table if I look at this row ID table it will look for my table CB location and if I go into my batch viewer for my location table I can see that you know I have this something called as custom and under custom I get the option to run job for this this run job for this custom procedure so let's go and, and register the same job for my party table so supposedly this is my this is the same PL procedure that I'm going to use for my party table so what what will generally when we generate the procedure it expects us the row ID table name table object so all this information will pull it from here row ID table so let's 
go and register this job so to register this job we have to go to show and this we have to use register custom table object so as part of register custom table object there are four parameters one is ready table function type code will always be one this is this object name and description so whatever we give the object name and description it will cover come over here so feel good so this is my object name and this is my description okay so let's go and do it for party so what we'll do is we will pull the information from siri post table what is the name for party cb party so we get the row id table from here we will pick this row id table we will put the row id table over here we, we have to remove the additional spaces so remove the additional spaces and we will just give it a custom proc and use the demo proc and we will run this so you see this is done so once this is done we will go and we will check the siri post table object so now we can see two entries so this one so earlier it was for existing one and now we did for demo proc r1 so this was second query you can ignore it so now coming to my user object repository if i come here and if i refresh it i can see i i get the entry for my party as well so this is this information is picked from ID table this demo proc that we have given as part of our request over here object name and the custom proc which is nothing but the description goes over here so custom proc it adds at the description and then it adds for cb party based on the table name so for cb part is there so why it is important to remove the additional space is because if we have an additional space over here supposedly if i put an additional space and run it let's see if, okay and come here to check if there is third entry in place there is so see over here okay okay oh, it, it sometimes create an issue right now it's not it's giving for us good for us but sometimes what it does is it it will populate custom proc for null it will not mention custom for our cv party so i believe uh, this is on the higher version and might has been fixed so now since this has been registered what we will do is we need to, now we'll go to our batch viewer and if i go to party expand our party we will under custom so right now i'm not getting something called as custom because i've not refreshed it but let me refresh it see I'm getting something called as custom so if I expand it I see I'm getting two entries because I've made dual entries earlier but here what I can do is I can just click on it and I can execute the batch so this is how this is not executing because my proc is not uh, you know compatible with this one but you can tune in the proc so once this so the basic idea is how to register this and how to make this available as part of your job and then you can you know uh, run it at your own wish by placing it at a certain location so when you create a batch group just after your landing table you can place this job and you can run it so that was the demo for custom stored procedure addition in mdm we would love to hear your feedback which you can provide on these channels thank you for watching this video